folks, we're taking a look at the 2018 Lance 2375 trailer. I'm going to show you some of the features, some of the details on it. Uh, right now, I'm sitting on the lounger sofa that's an option in the rear of this trailer. Uh, if you don't get this option, you get two wonderful swivel chairs with a table in between. We'll show you a picture of that. With this lounger sofa, you get footrest. With this footrest, you've got one on this seat, one on the one next to me, big windows all the way around, so it feels very open. Let's take a look at the storage up above us. You've got storage all the way around here. If you can get a shot in there, nice little cubbies. You know, there's, you want to take every space without making it feel closed in for storage. Wonderful sconces in the back, get you some backlighting. This trailer has such an open feel, I hope we can capture that on the camera. Speaking of which, this trailer actually is about 23 foot, six inches long on the box. The entire trailer, including the tongue, is 28 feet. A very lightweight trailer with all the options on this and full propane, the dry weight, is $54.29 on this particular trailer. Now, if you look in the brochure, it's going to say $4,900 because if you don't have any options, that's the base weight of the trailer. But you can count on right around $5,500 is going to be the weight of most of these trailers the way you would want to option them. If you move around to the dinette, the first question that I get on a lot of lances, I like to cover it every now and then, is why is the dinette raised just a little bit? Well, this is meant to be a very low profile trailer. It's meant to pull very easily and be as light as it possibly can be. They use really high quality products to achieve that and they also use some great designs. So that is the reason you step up into the dinette is because they lower the floor so your trailer won't be as tall. If you're in a trailer where the floor of the slide out and the floor of the trailer is the same height, your trailer's going to be about 12 to 18 inches taller than this. Again, that just gives you a little less wind drag if we can keep everything closer to the ground. So I love it being raised like this because it makes it very easy for me to step into it. I don't have to push myself up when I get out. I can just step right out, slide out of the dinette very easily. I also like the fact that the drawer is not down on the ground. They have these large drawers, again, with this nice little flush latch with a push button that pulls out, gives you these wonderful drawers, but again, they're not on the ground. They're really within reaching distance. I think it's a great feature. Slides right in. You've got one on each side. Just push the button in to lock it. The other feature that I think is really nice about this dinette is that You've got a table that doesn't have any legs under it, and it's very simple to turn into a bed. I'm not going to hit anything underneath, so all I do is take this latch, flip it over to the other side, and then you push down, and the entire table goes down into the, into the bed position, and you pull these cushions over on top of it. Very simple to change. Okay, it's very nice. Then you put it back up. You grab that little handle, flip it to the other side to lock it in place, and you're good to go. You've also got windows all the way around. It's great to have a window on the side and windows on the back. So again, this big open feel in this living area. For the size trailer that it is, it really feels like a much larger unit because of the way the windows are arranged. Let's talk about the windows a second. Um, windows on all of the lances are going to be dual paned. That is a standard feature in 2018. And what that means to you is that in the winter, it's going to keep you warmer in here, of course, but the big thing that we look at is in the summer, it's going to keep that air conditioning in. It's going to give you an insulated layer between that hot sun and the inside of the trailer. So that air conditioner is going to cool quicker and stay cool much easier. These are not sliding windows. These are actually a tip out window. Now I'm gonna use this one over here. It tips out just a little bit. So 
what you've got there is airflow, but you can also open it in the rain so that everything opens out, the rain can't get in, you can still get airflow. Comes right back in. It's also nice to have both windows completely open. If you have a slider, you only get half of that airflow. This little knob is the escape window. Of course, by law and for safety reasons, you always want to have those. We have one in the bedroom and one here, and that's right there in your dinette. I love the way they've done this wraparound valance. It's a very clean feel, very simple feel, but it hides the frame of the window, gives it a very finished look. Of course, everything in here has the day-night shades where you've got the day uh, light coming through, or you can pull it down and have a blackout shade. Great feature in this dinette, makes it very comfortable. Now let's move over to the kitchen and take a look at that. Let's take a quick view of the kitchen in this Lance 2375. Starting over here by the door at the rear of the trailer, um, although the camera's not going to come around and see it, we'll get you some shots. There's a little cubby and a key holder, and your lights and controls for your slide out and your awning are right here at the end of the cabinet. As you move around to this galley, I love the curve of this piece. Nothing square about it. The molded countertops. You've got the molded sink covers. And right back here, you've got a trash can. You could use it for anything. You could use it to keep uh, some drinks cold, put some ice in it, trash. Um, you could also just use it for storage, whatever works for you. Let's take a peek at the sink. Nice one-piece molded sink in here with a pull-down sprayer. Very residential feeling. I love the big sink in this one. Let's put that back down. The other thing to consider is that once you've got this nice covers on everything, it becomes a full counter space. A great feature when you're trying to uh, cook or need just working space in the kitchen. A bank of drawers on the end. Drawers are so useful. The other thing I like about these drawers is they have the pressure fit. So they close automatically, really comfortable to use. Let's take a peek in here at the storage. Got cabinet space in here. Right back behind there, you'll see this is going to be your winterizing system right here. So it can tuck right back in here and get out of the way. You've also got your water pump and your water heater under there. I love the way Lance makes everything so accessible. And then up above, a cabinet up here. I think this is a good time to mention the one-piece cabinet faces that you see here. You don't have styles that are all stapled together here. It's all one piece. It's all modular. It is built and tested before it's even put into the trailer. So it's not going to wiggle. It's not going to come loose. It's not going to get rattly on you as you travel and as time goes by. It's a very solid piece. Good storage up there. They've actually got separate kitchen lighting with down lights here so that it lights up your countertops when you need it. I love that feature. Up here you've got the microwave, which is an option. This is going to be your three burner stove. Again, the nice stainless cover if you needed counter space. And below that is the oven. So this is a fully functioning kitchen with the oven, the microwave, three burners, and a large sink. Great features. Over here on the side, this is going to be your water pump and the gas and electric water heater because you have both in this unit. And then this will give you all of your readings on your tanks and your battery. The soffit lights right here are just these two lights. So if all you needed to do was light up the kitchen, that's a possibility. While we're talking about lights, let's review that really quick. I think this unit has uh, got some unique lighting in it. Let's just say that. Everything in here is LED inside and out, so it's not going to use much battery power, it's not going to get hot, and you're not going to be replacing bulbs all the time. They put some very nice sconces both in the back of the trailer and above the dinette. The one above the dinette actually has a dimmer switch on it. So it can actually, right up here, you've got a dimmer switch that can 
uh, lower the light on the dinette so you don't have full lighting. You've just got some very soft lighting if that's what you're looking for. There's also some lighting, some recessed lighting above the dinette and above the bed. So we'll try to get a picture in here of that as well. So nice to note, they've got some great sconces on the back, a great one over the dinette, some beautiful things in the bedroom. The lighting makes all the difference. So at the end of the countertop in the kitchen, we have a six cubic foot refrigerator with a stainless steel front. You can get a picture of that space. Let's take a look at the freezer. Good space up there. Alrighty. Now there's also this wonderful pocket door right here between the front and the back. So you can completely close off the bedroom area if you wanted to do that. All right, moving in. This is tough to do, but let's see if we can get a picture of the pull-out pantry and the storage underneath. So this pulls out, and then you've got shelving on the bottom half of it. Okay, so moving towards the front of the trailer, um, let's cover the ceiling a little bit. We've got a nice vent in the back and a skylight here with a cover. So you can block it out if you like. You can black out anything in this trailer. It's really a very nice feature. This is a 15,000 BTU wall control air conditioner. Cool off this uh, area really quickly. Very efficient. On the right side, I've got a 32 inch television. This is an LED television. It's gonna be 12 volt, which means it's running off your battery. If you wanted to simply stop on the side of the road catch the game. You certainly could do that without plugging in uh, because you've got the 12 volt. It runs off the battery. Below you've got the Jensen stereo with the DVD, CD player, everything built in it. It's got USB port on the front. Works great. A little shelf here with some more plug-ins on the side. Let's look at the storage underneath. There you go. It's always tough to give you a good video tour of the bathroom, but it's an important feature, and so we're gonna do our best here. So one thing I like about this bathroom, it's got enough room to move around, and it's got a lot of storage. So let's start out by looking at the storage that's above the toilet. You've got two cabinets right here. There's always the small things that you need to carry with you right there behind the toilet. We do have a porcelain toilet here. I love the china. So that's a nice feature in a lance. None of those plastic ones. A towel rack built in on the side. And as you come around, you've got another hand towel rack. Two different lights. One is the overhead light and one's a vanity light. And then you've got another van uh, medicine cabinet type storage right here with an electric outlet underneath it. Again, the same kind of residential one piece sink that uh, we saw in the kitchen and the storage underneath. You notice underneath that, you've got a vent for the furnace. Nice to heat the bathroom when it's cold. Stepping around here, we've got a big open shower, a pull curtain that comes around, skylight above it to give you a little more head space and a lot of light. and one more set of cabinets. Now in the bottom cabinet, they have hidden a little toilet paper holder because you don't want to waste any space for storage. So that made perfect sense to be able to use all of that for storage, the toilet paper roll. Now, that it's important to mention that this trailer actually has 45 gallon fresh tank, but it has a 45 gallon gray tank and a 45 gallon black tank. Plenty of storage for um, this trailer. Let's take a look at the bedroom. As you're coming into the bedroom, again, more storage in this trailer. Wonderful overhead storage here. This is gonna be your uh, packet that has all of your owner's manuals in it. 
And then two drawers. Again, they have the uh, easy close. And then more storage under here. Big space there. And you'll notice under here, there is actually a clothes hanging bar right there. And at the bottom, you've got the insulated covers for all of the fans and the vent and the skylights. All righty. I love this countertop. There's always a space that you need for uh, keys, wallets, sunglasses, uh, maybe some things you use to get dressed in the morning. Great space right here. Let's move around and take a look at the queen size bed and the cabinets over there. So in the front of the 2375, you've got the standard queen size bed, 60 by 80 residential size, the Serta mattress, very comfortable. And then you've got a stargazer window over the bed. It is a one piece glass. Uh, you can actually lay in bed and look out and see the stars. Right now we've got the day, day shade open, but there is a night blackout shade as well that you can pull up, just like the rest of the windows. Speaking of windows, we've got a large window on the driver's side. And over here where you've got your bedroom door to the outside, because this does have two doors on it, you've got another window taking up this wall. So it feels very open in this bedroom area. You do have a curtain that pulls across to close it off from the bathroom. Again, on the other side of the bathroom, we've got a solid door, so you can close the entire section off this way. Whatever works for you for that particular situation. Uh, there is mounts and connections for another TV in the bedroom if you wanted to add a second one. You've got the recess lighting up here. We'll try to get you a shot of that. A fantastic fan over the bed. Now let's look at the storage next to the bed. You've got more hanging storage here on each side. Then you've got a countertop right here. You've got 110 plugs on both sides and soffit lighting also. So you've got extra lighting that comes from underneath, recessed lighting. The switch is right here, so you can use that as your nightlight. On that side, you have a charging port. So you could plug in a cell phone, 12 volt plug in, anything like that. 110s are on both sides. Underneath your countertop, you've got a drawer. Now pay attention if you're looking at trailers. It's unusual to find a big cabinet on the top a nice countertop with recessed lighting that's very user friendly for all those things you want by your bed and a drawer underneath. This one gives you all three. Sometimes you have to settle for two. Sometimes you only get one. Again, you've got the easy closed drawer. What a great feature. You've got reading lights here. Every type of lighting that you can imagine in here. So very comfortable bed area, and there's storage underneath. Let's lift it up and take a quick look at that before we go. Underneath the bed. Now in this one, you've got the spare tire, but this spare tire actually goes outside. We haven't set this up yet, but you can see it's a finished out space. Very nice area where you can keep more clothes, more storage, more gear. We'll take a look at that the front storage when we go outside. There's more for your outside gear. So let's go outside and take a look. So now we're gonna look at the outside of the 2018 Lance 2375. On the rear, you notice there's LED lighting on the tail lights, the ladder to get onto the full walk-on roof, and the square bumper. All nice features here in the back. As you move around to the front, this is the door in the rear of the trailer that walks into the living room. You can see it's got the swing away assist handle. Very nice feature and only two steps getting in. Like we talked about before, having the raised dinette gives you the opportunity to have a lower floor in your trailer, which gives you only two steps coming in instead of the standard three and a lot less wind drag going down the road. Let's look up at the top. 
This unit has the optional 20-foot awning on it. Notice there's no arms coming down the side of the trailer. That's because this is an armless awning. It is a push button, so you push the button, the awning goes all the way out. It goes out about eight feet and has an LED lighted strip on it, so it lights up underneath your awning at night. Makes for a very nice time sitting out under your awning in the evening. It also has a wind sensor on it. So if the wind kicks up, it's automatically going to put that awning in for you so it doesn't get damaged. You'll also notice right here, it ha uh, this door has an optional uh, touch keypad. It's a keyless entry with a code on it that will also let you get in the door uh, without your key. You can lock it and unlock it. Moving on, this is the hatch where you would fill your fresh water tank. Remember this has a 45 gallon fresh water tank, 45 gray and 45 black. Next to that we have the hot water heater. This is going to be the venting for your refrigerator, your furnace, your porch light above it, and on both sides you've got the stereo uh, speakers for the outside. Next there is a 110 plug. In case you need some extra patio lights or to plug in anything out here, this is going to be the part cable on this side. And next we have the door that actually goes into the bedroom area. It does not have the keyless lock entry, but it does have the swing away assist handle. And this is a good time to talk about the frameless windows. Remember we talked about the dual pane windows that are standard on the Lance. Uh, they're also frameless on the outside. So not having an, a frame on them gives you one less place that can have a problem and get any water intrusion and it gives you a nice, clean, modern look. Beautiful windows. Gives this trailer a lot of style. Next, we have this pull-out tray. Oh, before that, let's not forget, right here is gonna be your gas quick connect in case you wanna put a gas grill outside underneath the end of your awning. Runs off the propane that's already on your trailer, so you don't have to have a separate gas tank for your propane grill. This is going to be the front side to side storage in front of the trailer. You unlatch it here. You can pull this all the way out and you see there's lots of storage and it makes it very accessible all the way through the trailer. Slides back in and has a latch that goes down right here to lock it into place. In front of that, you've got the pull out battery uh, compartment. Now you've got one on each side. They're actually wired together inside the trailer, but this gives you easy access to each battery from the side. Underneath that, the controls for the electric stabilizer jacks. This trailer is equipped with that option, which will actually put down your stabilizer jacks in the front and the back on this side of the trailer by pushing a button. Now the other side of the trailer is going to look very similar to this going to have the, the batteries above these uh, switches and also notice on this compartment door you've got a, a magnet up here so you don't have to latch it clip it you just lift it up and it sticks into place when you close it it's got a baggage door lock on it which makes it easy close and a nice open wonderful feature there let's go around to the front On the front, this trailer has the electric uh, tongue jack on it, which is an option, as is the Tri-5 propane. If you lift off this lid under this nice compartment here that keeps your propane tanks clean and uh, tucked away in here, you'll see that you have two propane tanks with a regulator between them. So you've got the automatic regulator between the standard two tanks, but then you have a third one in front for a spare. So you're actually carrying 15 gallons of propane on the front of this trailer. Coming around to the side, you'll see it looks very much like the other side of the trailer. You've got the pull-out storage tray here, and in here you've got the uh, buttons for this side of the stabilizer jacks, as well as the power button that turns the entire system on and off. 
Now looking in this compartment, you'll notice that that storage drawer doesn't come all the way to the end. And that's because they leave you space here for larger items or possibly a portable generator that you might want to put in there. You do have a light switch here for this, the light that's inside this compartment. And you also have the manual jack crank for the stabilizer jack should you want to do it manually instead of with the power. Now in front of that, as always, Lance includes the outside shower. Hot and cold water, a handheld that pulls out, can be used for lots of things. Dishes, washing the dog, cleaning the kids at the beach. Under that, this is where you have your uh, city water connection from the hydrant that will actually go straight to your faucets without using your water tank. And this is the black tank flush. So when you're actually dumping your tanks, you can hook a, up a hose here, turn it on and have it actually clean that black tank all the way while it flushes out underneath. Underneath is where you have your hookups for your dumps and your dump handles, both a gray and a black, right in here. You can see the different colors in a single, uh, a single hookup there. Very convenient and easy to get to. And in front of that, there is your electrical, your 30 amp plug-in, and a park and satellite hookup as well on this side. Now behind me is the slide out. It also offers a little more outside storage. So when you look in here, it is not connected to the drawer on the inside. It is a separate storage compartment on the outside and you have one on this side of the dinette, another one on the other side of the dinette. Again, you've got the magnetic latches that hold it open, making it so convenient to open and close it. And this one closes with a thumb latch. And of course it has a key to lock it as well. So lots of great features here on this Lance trailer. I'm sure there's something that we didn't answer for you. So please give us a call. We'll be glad to help you here at Princess Craft. Oh,